Well, as we've been hearing, events in Ukraine are still moving very quickly. Ukraine's neighbours are amongst those warning that the crisis there could destabilise some of the region. I can speak now to one of those neighbours. He's the Romanian Foreign Minister, Titus Kolatsian. He joins us now from Bucharest. And a very good morning to you, Foreign Minister. T tell me just how worried Romania is about events in Ukraine. Uh, good morning and thank you for the invitation. Uh, speaking about uh, and giving an answer to your question, uh, if you think uh, uh, about the fact that uh, Romania represents the eastern border of both EU and NATO and also the fact that uh, Ukraine is uh, the largest, the biggest neighbor of Romania, you can understand that uh, we uh, followed with uh, uh, great concern, uh, great interest, uh, uh, the developments, uh, dramatic developments in the past uh, weeks and uh, days and we welcomed of course uh, together with our European uh, partners and your Atlantic partners uh, the agreement that was signed and the fact that uh, the violence is uh, stopped and a political process uh, started. It will take uh, uh, political efforts to implement this uh, agreement and to have uh, not only a 2004 uh, constitution in Ukraine, not only an inclusive uh, government, but also to have uh, uh, correct uh, early elections concerning the, the presidential functions. A long way from it, I know, or we hope, from a civil war in Ukraine. But if things were to move more in that direction, Foreign Minister, what possible effects, what are some of the effects on countries like your own? Well, uh, I think uh, you took notice about uh, different uh, public political statements uh, at the level of EU, for instance. Also, Romania stated very clearly that we are very supportive for the stability, uh, the territorial integrity and sovereignty of uh, Ukraine and trying to avoid any uh, dissemination of uh, tensions in the region because, of course, we are interested to support, uh, uh, based on uh, political, uh, positive political developments in Ukraine, the European path of Ukraine. We are interested to support, of course, uh, the Republic of Moldova's uh, European path. And what is happening in Ukraine is uh, quite relevant uh, for the entire region. So we are, we are not uh, in favor of any, let's say, uh, temptations uh, to divide uh, Ukraine. We are for an inclusive uh, approach, and this is why the political inclusive approach will be extremely important in the next uh, days and weeks. But presumably, if there were an increase in conflict in Ukraine, uh, Romania may have to deal with refugees and things like that. Well, uh, it's natural in these uh, circumstances that uh, the Romanian authorities are uh, to be well prepared, uh, prepared if necessary. But I can tell you that uh, until now we uh, didn't uh, s receive any, uh, let's say, relevant uh, information about a possible mig migration or uh, problems at the border. For the contrary, it's uh, calm and it's a, it's a situation that we are managing uh, uh, as normal as possible without any, uh, any problems. And, of course, we're sincerely hoping things move in the, the opposite direction, in the peaceful direction. If that is so, uh, how quickly do you feel that uh, Ukraine could become an EU member? What's the position from Bucharest? Um. We think that uh, this uh, extremely important agreement that was signed with the support, uh, direct support of the European Union and also Romania had the mandate to support at the last Foreign Affairs Council, exactly those elements that were included and we are seeing right now in the, uh, this uh, political agreement, uh, it is possible to advance on the European path. If you take the final uh, conclusions of both last uh, European Foreign Affairs Council, you will see that it is uh, written very, in, in very clear terms that uh, the uh, associated agreement and the free trade agreement uh, uh, for Ukraine, it's not the final goal. That means there is a European uh, perspective uh, which is recognized in, uh, in, uh, within uh, the European Union, but is based on the legitimate and sovereign will of U Ukraine. And we are respecting the sovereign will and we uh, expect that all the international actors to respect the legitimate will of, uh, of Kiev. OK, Mr. Kolatsian, very good to talk to you. Thank you very much indeed. That's the Romanian Foreign Minister. Thank you. Titus Kolatsian.